Hey guys, it's Rob J back in the building with you another banger for all the boys and girls out there. So in today's video, we will be discussing how you can get good at jujitsu fast. This is something actually that all the pro top teams are using right now at this very moment and you guys should be including it in every single one of your training sessions. And there is a reason why. Let's begin by asking ourselves a couple of questions. The first one being, how do we get good at anything? Well, the answer is obvious, by practicing. Second. What is the biggest limiting factor that we have when we are trying to acquire a new skill? Time is our biggest factor. So that leads us to our follow-up question. How do we get the most out of our practice in the shortest amount of time possible? Before we answer that, let's take a look at what is wrong with conventional training in the first place. So let's say we train the conventional way. The conventional way being one person starts seated and the other person starts standing. And let's also throw in an objective. In. Roger that. So our objective is getting better at pin escapes. We go to training. Our first roll is against someone below our skill level. We roll against them. They don't manage to pass our guard. And we get no practice in that round. Okay, no problem. We go to the next round. This time we go against someone our skill level. And let's say they manage to pass our guard one time this time. Okay, awesome. We got to practice our pin escapes one time this round. And now comes the next round. Say we're going to get someone above our skill level and they manage to pass our guard. But because the skill discrepancy is too big, we cannot even manage to do our pin escape. So we spend the whole time on bottom. We can see that there is a problem with conventional training. What we want to do is we have to force ourselves to be in a position where we are actively trying to work towards our objective every single round. And we do this by using the concept of positional training. First, let's start off by defining what positional training actually is. Positional training can be seen as having three important elements to it. First, we have an objective we're working towards getting better at. Secondly, we are starting in a fixed starting position based on the objective that we have. And lastly, we have a set of conditions that when met causes us to reset to our starting fixed position. So let me give you an example. Let's say we are trying to practice our pin escapes, but now we are starting in a fixed position. The fixed position is bottom side control. So we are starting off in bottom side control and we have two conditions. The first one being, if the bottom player escapes, we reset. And the second one being, if the top player manages to submit us, we also reset back to bottom side control. I'm going to be explaining why training like this is so powerful, but first I want to show you guys how just with that information alone, this is so much better than conventional training. Okay, so let's say we have person A and a person B, and each person wants to work at getting better at their back attacks. Person A trains like a normal chump. He starts every round in a seated open guard with his opponent standing or vice versa. But person B on the other hand implements positional training and they start off the round on their opponent's back with the position being if he submits his opponent they reset or if his opponent escapes they also reset. And let's take a look at the worst case scenario for each person. Also for this round each person will be rolling a total of 5 rounds. Now let's take a look at the worst case scenario for person A. The worst case scenario is throughout all five rounds, person A manages to get to his opponent's back a total of zero times. Now the worst case scenario for person B is that for every round, which we are starting on the person's back, person B can't submit his opponent for the whole round and his opponent can't escape for the whole round. So that means that for all five rounds, we only get one attempt at attacking the back which would give us a total of five attempts in total. So now let's compare. Person A got a total of zero attempts at attacking the back, which also means that they got 0% better at back attacks, which also means that they just wasted their time. If you don't implement what you learn, let alone even try to get a chance to implement what you learn, it's essentially as good as nothing, as not even training in the first place. The way we get better is by learning and then implementing what we are learning. So now let's take a look at person B. Person B got a total of five attempts. In comparison to person A, that is a 500% increase in the amount of attempts that we got. So just off that alone, positional training is better than conventional training, off the bat. But now we might be asking ourselves, why? A big part of trying to get better at something that requires a specific position is also the fact that you have to put in a lot of effort to get into that position in the first place. And then you start working within that specific position to get better at what you want. But because we are forcing ourselves to start in the already set position, we are no longer wasting our time and energy trying to get into that position in the first place. 
and this might not seem like a lot but this is huge so in the beginning i told you guys that we have a problem of time and of not getting enough repetitions in but by forcing ourselves to start like this we're saving a lot of time and because of the conditions we have set this is going to ensure that we get the most possible repetitions out of our roles now there is a counter argument to this if i always start an x position how am I going to get good at getting to that position in the first place? Once again, the answer is positional training. <laughs> we just have to adjust our conditions. We can set the conditions to if we get to X position, we reset while our opponents just try to defend. And if you get caught in anything, you reset as well. We can see that the beautiful part of positional training is that it is applicable to any move or concept in jujitsu, whether it be submission escapes, guard passing, leg attacks, leg defense, anything. So now that we know how to get better faster, it's all up to you to go out there and implement it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a dislike, comment some hate, and um sub. Thanks for watching.